So guys, fellas, women, children, whoever's watching this video, there's definitely no children, I was joking about that, but whoever's watching this video, there's something behind um, this message that I want to get across. And um, I made a post on my Instagram yesterday. And um, I don't know if you guys know the rapper Drake. A lot of you guys will, obviously. Very famous. He came out with a new song that just dropped on his album less than 24 hours ago. And he had the lyrics in this song, the title of this video. I've been losing friends and finding peace. And if you get yourself to this point, right, you are winning. You are winning times 1,000. If you have the same people that was in your life for the rest of your life, you really did not do much. You didn't. You did not do as much as you might have thought you did. You probably haven't even moved. And I don't even mean moved places. You didn't even make any moves. You, you, you really did nothing. And it is up to you to do this. No one is going to make a move for you. No one's going to do anything for you. It is a normal thing to lose friends. To find more peace within yourself. Because you're going to lose everything. You're going to lose everybody first. And then you're going to gain so much better. Things you actually deserve. A huge motivating force in my life, guys. And I'm going to tell you the truth on this. A huge motivator for me is I felt like I, I grew up around people that I just... And I'm, not even, I'm not talking about parents. It's just people in general. Like in my area from school, from my hometown, things like this. I did not belong with these people whatsoever. I just didn't. Like there's so much better out there for me and I say this because, you know, once upon a time these people weren't bad. But it got to a point where it got toxic and it's like I have to go now. I have to grow. I have to evolve. These people just became toxic. Like very toxic. Negative. Everything seems fine when you're a kid. But when you get older, the truth comes out. You realize that this stuff is not necessarily normal. And there's so much better out there in this world and you deserve so much better. You deserve to be around more high quality people who are actually more loving and don't pretend that they're so loving and caring because these types of people we speak on, they are not loving and caring. They wanna put on a show, they wanna make everybody believe that they are. They even want to convince themselves that they know what love is, but they do not at all because they are so negative that it's not even funny. And this is the truth. I've been around these people my whole life. I know what they are. I can see through them. They don't treat me good. I deserve to be treated a lot better. I deserve to be valued at the highest levels by better people. And I, I don't, I do not want to live a life around these people. And it was such a driving and motivating force for me to move forward in life and to do better for myself so I can get better, attract better, and just be better. And I think everybody should have that mindset. Everybody should have that, you know, you're going to do very well for yourself so you can attract better into your life because you're just not going to get better if you don't do better yourself. It's just not going to happen. Mentally, you got to get yourself on a different level. You have to make everything come together. If you can if you can get to the gym, if you can become as mentally strong as you can possibly be, you build yourself up, you build your body up, you can start doing things that you never thought you could because you're such a more capable, more competent person now. I think the gym is huge. I think building confidence is huge, guys. Huge. Confidence can give you everything you've ever wanted. 
with a cherry on top. It really can. And ain't shit come quick. Ain't shit come quick, but things can things can happen. You know? And um It was just a huge factor, a huge motivating factor for me to do a lot better for myself because of my past, because of things that happened in the past. It's not like everything was normal. Like like I said, when I was a kid, things sent normal, but like I got betrayed so bad that, I, that it is not even funny by my own so-called friends. Not every single one of them either. There's still a few people that I used to be friends with that I could talk to to this day, and it would be just fine. They never did anything to me. I did not do anything to them. It's okay. But, you know, a, a lot of the people, they did do dirty things to me, and it showed me the truth. It showed me what I deserve. I deserve so much better than this, and I'm going to get so much better than this. Same thing with the relationships in the past. Like... It just show me I deserve so much better than this. This is pathetic. Like, this is all washed. I don't know. And at the time, like, they made me feel bad about certain things, but it even got to a point when I was still young that I just started to recognize, like, this is not me. Like, this is a them problem. This is not a me problem. This is a you problem. So, I'm going to get out of here now. I'm going to keep focusing on my life. Thank you for the motivation because you motivated the hell out of me. You treat me bad. I only get better. You want to treat me bad. You want to be bad. You want to be negative to me. I'm only going to get better from this. You're not going to tear me down. You could never do that to me. You could never tear me down. You ain't got that type of power over me. I have power over you and I'm going to show you. I'm going, I'm, I'm going to show you what true power is. It's the things that was going through my mind when anything bad or negative would happen. You wait, because I'm going to show you what true power is. It's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get on my grind. I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to, I'm going to become the person I was supposed to become. And you're going to shoot yourself in the foot someday and regret your entire existence on earth. And I make a lot of people regret the things that they've done, the things that they said. And a lot of these people will never have a place in my heart ever again. They just won't. I don't care about them. Nothing. And I used to, but I easily stopped because of certain things that happened. And at the time, it was heartbreaking at the time. It wasn't fun to go through, but real people, good people, they will always prevail will always come out on top and these people will suffer a shitty existence time will catch up and you know they will get what they asked for rightfully so and you will get what you deserve but you can't give up on yourself you have to keep going you have to keep pushing I let so many things from the past motivate me guys like it's it's honestly incredible the motivation that I put in myself to get myself to where I knew I needed to be, wanted to be, all these things. I did a lot. And it wasn't easy, it was tough, very tough. But I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I always could see the light. I don't mean I can see it now. I far surpassed. A lot of things that I even thought I would at this age. But during my times, I could always see the light at the end of the tunnel. And there's much better coming. I've attracted so much good into my life. Up to right now. And I'm not even talking about people necessarily right now. I'm talking about like... Things. And not just material things, but just the position that I'm in right now, and some other things as well. 
And I do got some good people, and there's going to be a lot more better people coming. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that. This is only the beginning. And I have to stay grateful today for what I have right now. I have so much right now. Like, there are people that have such hard lives in this world. And I'm very, 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 very above average. So I cannot sit here and complain because I'm not a multi-millionaire or a billionaire right now. Because I have a lot. I do. And... I stay humble. I stay grounded with it. And I continue to act like I'm broke, to be broke. Not to necessarily act like I'm broke, but just like live like I'm, I shouldn't say act, I should say because I, I felt like I was rich since birth. But I mean live like I'm broke in a way where I have a lot and I'm not spending a lot, not doing a lot. That's gonna take a lot of money. I'm just living below my means. And there are certain things that I do like <sighs> to spend money on. Like, I am like a men's fashion type of guy. I like clothes. Clothes is my thing. A lot of people have bad addictions in life. A lot of people like to drink. A lot of people like to smoke. A lot of people like to smoke weed, do some drugs, do this, do that. I don't have any of those bad addictions. I don't smoke, drink, smoke weed anymore. I don't do any of those things. Clothes is kind of my thing, and I don't even, you know, I go a long time without buying any clothes at all. But if there's one thing that I spend probably the most money on, it would be clothes over everything else. And I don't really spend on anything else. I don't take vacations. Not yet. And I don't buy random things that I don't need to impress people that I don't even like. And that's the truth. And I just think it's important to not go crazy once you start to level up and start to earn a lot more and to do a lot more in general. Stay grounded. Because that's what I do. Stay cheap. Be a cheap guy or girl. Do that. Just because you make money, don't start flaunting and don't start spending money on other people trying to impress other people trying to do all these things do not do those things that is stupid if you're going to spend money on anybody it should be people you're very close with that like like family like your parents or something like this and for the right reasons and on the right things and that's the advice i have for that um but even when you get to these points People are going to hate you. They're going to know. And it is what it is. There's nothing you can do. You can't You can't stop your own life. You can't stop people from hating on you. And jealousy is a crazy thing. It really is. People just cannot help themselves. Like, it takes an enormous amount of work to get yourself anywhere. You have to do so many things you don't want to do to get yourself to where you want to be. Truly. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. They just want to see you in the position that you're in, not realizing that you did so much work in order to get yourself in the position that you're currently in, in every way. And like I said, guys, if you are in that position in life where you are losing friends, people are just falling out of your life, you, you are not on the same track as people, and people are starting to hate, that is a huge sign, that is a sign of gold, legit, it is, and you are much further ahead than you think you are, you are doing much better than you think you are. Rather than having friends, you have a lot of peace in your life. 
I have so much peace in my life right now. And I still talk about these topics because I'm trying to wake everybody else up. I'm trying to get everybody else to realize the things that I've realized. And the more I've realized, the better I've started to do. Because if there's certain things you don't realize and you, you're getting yourself trapped, you're getting yourself stuck. Certain things are happening because you don't know any better. It can mess up your whole life. If there's certain things you could avoid, you could really get on the right track very fast. And this is the truth. I'm telling you now, knowledge, experience, wisdom, all these things is one of the best things you can have as a person. Without it, your life can go to complete shit. Without it, you can be taking the wrong moves, left, right, and center. And it is the truth. I know this from experience. There's certain things that I didn't know in the past that I did. And it's because I didn't know any better. Because I was too young, too inexperienced. Didn't see the results of the bad things that I was doing. I didn't know they were bad. It looked good. It looked like something from God, but it was not at all. It was the opposite. You already know what it was from. It wasn't from God. It was not. And like I said, it's because I didn't know any better. You think it's something? That's not. Things happen. Then, then you have to really learn after you learn a hard lesson. So, if I can say anything on this channel, in all my videos, that is going to help save somebody, protect somebody, put somebody on the right path in life, I'm doing the right thing and I'm doing my job here. I just know what it's like to, to not know. But when you know, you know. And when you know a lot, you can earn a lot. When you know a lot, you can win. When you don't know a lot, you will lose. And that's just how it is, and that, that is how the game works. It will always be like this, so keep learning. Keep moving forward. Leave old people in the past. Because they want to stay there. Not everyone's going to want to go to where you want to go. And it is what it is. There's nothing you can do about that. They're going to be who they're going to be. You're going to be who you're going to be. Don't let them make you feel guilty. Because they will. It, it's a crazy world. It's crazy stuff. I felt like people try to hold me back my entire life. I look back. I even look right now and it's like... It's unbelievable the things that people did to me, guys. It really is. Like, it's overlooked. You guys have no idea the shit that I had to go through. I used to know so many people. I still do, but it's like... I used to be involved with so many people. And I had to escape everything. I had to get away from everything. Nothing was good for me. All these things were unhealthy for me. I deserved so much better. I knew I deserved so much better. I wanted so much better. I didn't feel like I was fitting in where I was. I felt outside the box. I felt disrespected. I felt overlooked. I felt used. I just knew I deserved better. And you have to claim what is yours out there in this world. <clears throat> you have to. Because if you don't, you're going to get walked on. If you don't, you are going to get used and abused by these people. And it's not going to be a fun thing at all. God bless people that have to go through the, through through things like this and can't get themselves out. You must. You must stay strong. That is what I was able to do. I went through so much abuse psychologically and there was nothing ever powerful enough to take me down, to take me out. But people tried their hardest. People tried to hold me back. People tried to get me to, to, to people tried to get me to live such a piss life. Such a piss poor life people tried to get me to live. Nobody wanted to see me do good. Nobody wanted to help me. And nothing has changed to this day. So that's why I continue to do good with myself. I keep upping my life. I keep upping my quality of life. And better things come. Better things have already came and only better and more things are on their way. Trust and believe.
But anyways, guys, I said everything I need to say. It's about time for bed, so I'm going to cut this video short. And I'll be back tomorrow with some more videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this topic. I hope you guys can take some stuff from this topic. You should be able to. Stay on your course. Stay true to yourself. Don't let anybody make you feel guilty, like I said. Stay true to yourself. That is it. I'm out.